Bonjour, Bafé Gomis. Bonjour, Blaise Matuidi. Bienvenue dans Social Club by Orange. Thank you very much, guys, for the VIP lounge. Live from the Social Hub, I now declare the show open. So what's the latest from the Apple-shaped brand? A TV show. While we're all awaiting the launch of the iPhone 8, which could be priced at more than a thousand euros, Apple have just announced the launch of Planet of the Apps, the first ever reality TV show dedicated to app developers. Just like all TV talent shows, the concept is simple. Ask participants to create the best apps on the Mac operating system. Of course, before a star-studded panel featuring the likes of Will I Am, Jessica Alba, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Gary Vaynerchuk. This is a huge first for Apple, who have stated their aim to penetrate the entertainment market as they look to really make contestants sweat, giving them 60 seconds to pitch the jury. Will they be able to make their product stand out? We shall see in the spring when the first episode comes out on Apple Music. Of course! Football these days is not just played out on the pitch, but also behind screens thanks to the Orange E-League one the French Championship, which sees players go head-to-head -head on FIFA. After several match days, the winners will take each other on in the spring playoffs to determine the virtual champions of France, and the winners of the club tournaments will each win prizes that have been supplied by clubs and sponsors. In light of this partnership with the Ligue Professionnelle de Football, Orange France brought together two members of Team Orange, Bafé Gomis from Olympique Marseille and Blaise Matuidi from PSG for the biggest game in France, the classic OM versus PSG played on FIFA. The score, 2-1 to Marseille. The whole thing was followed by a Facebook Live on the 12e page with a Q&A session for the fans. Simply put, it's good news for amateur tacklers and wannabe step over kings and further confirmation that eSport and football are a stronger team than ever. If people often tell you that you spend too much time on Facebook, now you might actually have an excuse. You could find your next job. From this week onwards, Mark Zuckerberg's social revolution will be showing American and Canadian users current job offers thanks to a recruitment tab on different companies' fan page. In any case, it's a good idea, and really quite logical when you think that Facebook is one of the most visited websites in the world. But it's a cruel blow to the current go-to site, LinkedIn, who were bought out for $26 billion in 2013 by Microsoft. One thing for certain, Bill Gates won't be out of work anytime soon, and this also means that you could find the job of your dreams right there on your newsfeed. Thanks, Mark. As always, we'll finish the show with a forecast for the coming weeks. The latest update for WhatsApp, which is starting to look more and more like Snapchat, the Oscar ceremony this weekend, and Gify, which has just published 2,000 GIFs to help us understand sign language. As for us, we'll see you next week.